love my kids. I love my mm. kids. Maybe if Dad says it enough times in the press. They'll actually start treating us like he means it. Well, the reporters seem to be eating it up. Well, it doesn't hurt that it's a hand-picked crew. I mean, these people all worship Victor Newman. That's true. Billy's working on his own piece, too, so I'm hoping that maybe it will counteract some of the awning. Well, that's cool. Be nice to have someone on our side for a change, especially since my plan with Sharon didn't work out. <sighs> I'm so sorry to hear that. I really thought I was making some headway, and then Adam walks in, smelling like he was tanked, and punches me. What? He punched you? Yeah. Are you okay? He's yeah. such a loser. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, I gotta get out of here. I told Sharon she could spend some time with Faith before the arbitration. <sighs> okay, I'll see you over there. Yeah. Soup's on. Oh, your editorial, it's on the web. Yep. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. <clears throat> I have never been big on gate crashing. You're either on the A-list or why bother? But for Victor Newman's great media spin tour, I made an exception. Newman portrayed himself as a victim of his children's unbridled greed, then in the next breath insisted he held nothing but love in his heart for them. As I left, my mind was racing with all the ways I could expose his lies and hypocrisy. But as I sat down at my keyboard later, I found myself at a loss for words, utterly confounded about how a father, any father, could arrive at the point that Victor has. That started me thinking about my own father, the late John Abbott, and the example that he set for me. John Abbott and Victor Newman. If you choose to follow your own path or do things differently than the way he would have, John Abbott didn't disinherit you or disrespect you or make damn sure that you were taught a lesson. My father would have considered that abusive and unloving. Can Victor Newman say the same? Mm -mm. I'm really, you okay? No, I'm just really, I'm proud of you right now. What made you decide to take the high road? <clears throat> I mean, don't pat me on the back just yet. Why don't you keep reading? Read the whole article. I'm not looking at either of these titans of industry through rose-colored glasses. My father was far from perfect. He had his flaws, like all the rest of us. It's the example my dad set that pushes me to be a better businessman, a better husband, a better father, a better person. One of the greatest tragedies I've witnessed since settling down with Victor Newman's daughter. While I work hard every day to live up to my dad, my wife is working just as hard to live down her own father. What are you trying to do? I mean, why don't you just punch me in the gut already? Sorry. No, it's beautiful. And it's true. Yeah, well, I'm sure the bloggers are gonna think I went soft again, but uh, there I was at two in the morning in front of a keyboard holding Lucy, staring at that blinking cursor. I don't know, the more I want to pummel Victor in print, the more I kept thinking about that baby in my arms and how, I guess not so long ago, you were a baby in his arms. Yeah. He used to call me the apple of his eye. <sighs> now I'm just a huge disappointment to him. You know how much I hate that guy. But right now, there's nothing more I'd like to do than give you back your daddy. I love you. Love you too. This is it. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. We're going to need it. Bye. Bye, baby. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, you guys. You're not going, are you? Why? Did you want me to? No, I mean, it's just, you know, the baby's going to be down for a while, and then Jan was going to come, and she's going to take her to the... What? what? Hey. Come here. Hey. What? What's wrong with you? Oh. Philly, why didn't you tell me you're going to write about Daddy? I was practically in tears the whole way over here. 
It was a really lovely tribute. Yeah. It really was. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So sweet. Don't get used to it because the next time I write about Victor Newman, it's not gonna be all hearts and rainbows and I'm just so flowers. happy that you're finally maturing. Yeah. Welcome to the wonderful world of being a grown-up. Mm. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Thank you, sweetie. So, what's up with the wedding? How are the plans going? Oh, well, Tucker and I haven't been speaking too much about that lately, and I'd rather, um, you know, not get uh, into it right now, if you don't mind. Are, uh, things okay with you and Tucker, or are you... Yes. Okay, okay. You know, I mean, I'm fine. And Tucker is a really good man at heart, I know that, but... Sometimes I get these glimpses of another side of him, you know? Reminds me of Victor, which kind of freaks me out. Yeah, I could see why that would freak you out. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh. Hey, Neil. Hi, Ashley. Um, listen, I need to see you. It's about the arbitration. Okay. Adam just stared at me. He didn't even flinch, but I know it got to him, the part about ruining Sharon's life, because you know that he's going to. Okay, well, Sharon's been on him to admit that he lied under oath, okay? And Nick's been working on his own angle as well, but I'm not exactly sure if he succeeded. Well, I hope he does, but I doubt he will. Lying is the only thing that Adam knows how to do. Okay, but if we keep the pressure on, maybe between the four of us, we'll be able to plant some doubt in Adam's mind. Doubts about what? <sighs> the wisdom of trusting Dad. Daddy's article was a big hit. Your mommy liked it. All three of her aunts liked it. I don't know. Maybe they'll say nice things more often. They'll scare people. They won't know what to think. They'll be like, Billy Abbott said something nice. Remember, I can't deal with this. It's crazy. I don't understand. Why is he so nice to people? That's not Billy. <laughs> yeah, man. Dad, I wish you could see her. She is gorgeous. You were wrong, you know, in your editorial. Yeah, well, I am your son. I must have screwed something up. You know, you don't ever have to worry about what kind of father you're going to be. No, you're already doing a terrific job. Great. See you soon. Okay, Leslie's on her way. I wonder where Nick could be. Yes, hello. Excuse me. Hello. This is Michael. Heather, this is urgent. Call me immediately. Hello, Michael. Are we the first ones here? Do you see anyone else around? Where's Dad and Adam? They'll be here. <laughs> 